<laughs> All right. What's up, Chrissy? See you now. What is up? <laughs> Tell me I'll see you soon. What's up, girl? Thank you for joining. The first one in the house. Love it so damn much. Hey, look, it's it looks like Tina D was, it was live. <laughs> Pause this. Share this on my Twitter. And everyone follow me on my Twitter. Air live. Let me get this right. Hold on one second. We're <coughs> Christy. What do you think about the new Angry Grandpa merch? We are live. All right, one more. Egomaniac in the house. What's up? Crayons and doo doo. Sometimes crayons and doo doo are the same thing. Am I right? <laughs> I remember one crazy ass Thanksgiving, bro. Michael got the whole family in trouble, bro. We weren't, we were, we were uninvited for his Charlene's house for Thanksgiving ever, you know, evermore. After Michael decided to dig in his butt, he didn't know how to use the damn toilet paper. He dug in his butt and freaking smeared it all over the freaking walls and wiped it all over his hands and then on the toilet paper all over his hands and threw the toilet paper in the trash bin beside the toilet, dude. It was the fucking grossest, dude. We were. <laughs> I had to share that, bro. I think I told that, told you that, didn't I? All right, we're live. Just chilling like a motherfucker, man. I think it was like the first time I ever played, uh, first time I ever fucking played uh, Mortal Kombat, bro. First time I ever seen it or any damn thing. Thanksgiving Day. <clears throat> my cousin Jason was showing it to me. Shout out to my cousin Jason. All right, we are live. Yeah, all right. I got it shared to Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much. And man, next thing I know, I heard like a like a an unearthly howl, you know, <laughs> come from in Charlotte. Oh dear God! And there was shit all over the damn wall. So <laughs> I mean, it was like just yeah, it was the fucking. And then my aunt Charlene, she made Michael clean it. You know, told Dad, "You shut the hell up." <laughs> my aunt Charlene, dude, nobody handled my 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 dad like my aunt Charlene did. She aunt Charlene was like Dad, but she was more assertive and she was level headed. She wasn't crazy with it, man. Uh, yeah, so yeah, a little Thanksgiving story for you, ego maniac. Crayons and doo doo. Uh, <laughs> sometimes the two are indeed the same. Famous twenty one in the house. Shout out to you. Uh, uh, Chrissy Muscle uh, Vinkman says, happy you turn things around. Hey, Vinkman, I recognize that name. Seriously, you've gone so above and beyond, Michael, far as just being a decent human. <laughs> I don't know, man, because here lately I've been kind of, you know, kind of grinding it, man. I've been kind of grimy, not so much grimy as much as I have been, you know, I don't know. I don't know, you know, maybe it's not, I haven't been so, uh, uh, stand up here lately, I think, you know, in my whole, <laughs> just constant beat down of Michael and Isaac here lately, you know, but, uh, um, like I say, man, we all have our own ways of getting over shit, you know, um, a simple apology, you know, to me from certain people would go a long way, you know, but, um, unfortunately I think, uh, things have gone way beyond, you know, apologies and, uh, you know, uh, coming clean as it were, you know, cause if Michael and if Michael were to come clean with all the shit that he has done, you know what I mean? Um, he would be canceled, dude. Like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> he would be completely fucking canceled and, uh, embarrassed dude. And, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 yeah, just, you know, I don't know. A real, I don't know. I guess you would say a real, a real stand-up man or, or a stronger man. That's, that's what I should say. A stronger man would be able to just walk away from this. Look above, look above and beyond. You know, like how Isaac is. Charlie keeps talking about you. You know, and like a stronger man, you know, wouldn't even give Isaac this ammo right here. <laughs> you know, even though I'm beating his ass into the dirt, and we're gonna continue tonight because Isaac, for for some reason, wants to attack some poor woman named Diane. Again, despite the fact, you know, that uh, that I have been on here, you know, on a weekly, sometimes, um, you know, twice a week basis, Ooh, just pretty much, you know, exposing him and Michael and uh, uh, showing all their dirty laundry, like proverbially, like not proverbially and literally, dude, like, where is that damn, who remembers the, <laughs> who remembers their, uh, 
the laundry room, shall we? Shall we share that again? And didn't we go over the fact already that right there, we're at that circled in, that's Isaac's sweet hot tub? <laughs> Look at that shit. Sweet hot tub, is that it? Oh, wait, no, 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 that is not. No, that's not Isaac's hot tub. That is the kitty, scr the kitty scratch box. Take a look. That's a little kitty scratch box, or it's like a stand-up pedestal for the cats. Isaac claims he doesn't have any fucking pets. He says, I ain't got no pets. I ain't got no fucking animals. All that is garbage left over from the landlord. And then he shared a picture earlier, throwing mad shade at his wife, we should say. Something's going on with Isaac and Nikki right now. We're not exactly sure. Apparently, she took... Uh, oh, did I delete the photo? Damn it. Nope, I didn't. Apparently, she took wifey off her bio. Her and Isaac have gotten into it. Uh, and he took, he took a picture. Hold on a second. I'll, go show, I'll show the picture from his Twitter right here. All right, it says, I've never seen them so happy and playing together without arguing. Well, damn, LOL. Look, is that is that his kid and his mom playing Uno together, chilling? For the first time ever, as a happy family, a mother getting along with her son. For the first time ever? And all it took was what, some new clean sheets? <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty happy, too, if you finally fucking cleaned up the shitty ass pissed up mattress that you promised you were going to clean probably years ago <laughs> you know i'd be pretty happy that you fucking cleaned up the damn shitty mattress my damn self but there was some secret shade thrown in there guys if you look into it kind of oh I'm, I'm sitting here missing some comments what is up phil kaz ego we'll get back to this in a second but yeah it feels like there's some shade thrown there to me what do you guys think 172 people watching. Uh, oh, Stanley in the house. Much love, Stanley. How are you doing tonight, brother? Thank you so much for joining. Who else is all in here? Rebecca and Kevin. Thank you guys for moderating for me tonight. Heroic Turkey got a $2 bomb on me. Thank you so much. I've been good, bro. Got paid today, bro. It was kind of a, 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 a skid on into payday, man. Normally, we get paid on Thursday. Yesterday was Veterans Day. Much love to all the veterans out there, you know, who uh, have fought for the country and given their lives, for, uh, you know, for our freedom. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, that's a minor inconvenience, I guess, you know, for y'all sacrifice. Too bad y'all couldn't get y'all's money, neither, though. How the hell do veterans got get to work or got to work? I can tell you, there's many veterans I worked with yet yesterday. They had to work, but the banks didn't. Fucking bank teller ain't got to work. But this veteran does. What the fuck is that? Corey in the house. Thank you so much, brother, for moderating for us tonight. We might need it a little bit. Freaking Isaac might, or Big Popper, I guess I should say, might have all 30 of his slob mob trolls in here trying to talk shit. Mr. Whistle in the house. Big Lou. Much love to you, Jeff. Joe Hatton. Want to know what my favorite movie is? Let me think about that. Get back to me, man. Dawn of the Dead. Charming Roy uh, Royalty. Christopher Cunningham, Lone Wolf, Berserker, Dr. Stevens, Bitch, Missile, uh, Mr. Whistle, Ryan C., Dalton's Outside, Kyle Lopez, Antonio Myers, Dangerous 13, Lone Wolf, Antonio 13, Penny, Pennywise, what's up, Pennywise, Rebecca and Kevin, and Connections, ST, Jersey Girl, Rivera, uh, Tyler, what's up, Tyler, uh, Khalil's Awesome Games, Luke Thatcher, Ryan C., Dalton's Outside, Scott Johnson and uh, Nini. What up, Nini, 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 Nini? Right on time, huh? Cool. I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. And so what we were getting at with Isaac, oh, yeah, throwing some secret heat, throwing some fucking Randy Johnson at his old lady right now. And I don't mean the, the D because we know that he ain't getting that shit up. She sat on his face for his birthday for a reason. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't because he likes eating clock guard and he does railing it. He just can't get it up. Anyways, uh, let's scroll back down here. Make sure I'm not I'm not missing any any super chats or anything like that. No super chats, anything like that. Rebecca in the house. Rebecca, that was so funny, guys. Like Isaac, I got to share something else with Isaac uh, uh, here in a minute, dude. He really, really kind of goofed on himself, dude. I'm gonna share that. 
But first here, man, he's throwing the heat at his old lady, talking about this is the first time they've ever gotten along. Uh, ever. Wonder why. Jordan Yon says, cool lights. Thank you so much. You like that? And uh, The last few streams that I had, I had, you know, taken them down, and it felt like something was off. Don't you agree? Somebody commented, and I was like, you know what? You're right. Let me put these back up. Uh, Roy, uh, Royale Mac. What's up? Royale. Royale with cheese. So it's crazy. I hate live streams, but I've watched every single live stream all the way through. You're entertaining, bro. Well, I appreciate it. You know, I feel like, you know, if you're going to sit here and watch, you know, that I've got to be able to come out with something. I got, I've got to be able to entertain you. If I can't keep a crowd, if I can't keep it talking, can't keep, you know, kicking the bucket forward, you know, then stop live streaming. You know what I mean? And, uh, I feel like I give you guys plenty and I feel, <laughs> I just feel like it just comes natural to me almost, man. Like I've been doing this so damn long now you know that you know it's like a muscle it's like it's like working a muscle like anything you know riding a bike you know uh learning french yeah and i feel good so i'm going to show you guys right here i appreciate that uh that praise there man much love to you rebecca <laughs> you're so funny i'm about to show you guys so anyways took a picture of his old lady and the kid playing uno happy for the first time ever with without arguing Mama and the son arguing, always fucking arguing. Really? What's up with that? Like, he's opening a fucking doorway to her for us right now to explore. Uh, I may now sit here like Freud, you know, and examine. Put under analysis now. Why do you do this to yourself, Isaac? Why do you give me so fucking much to work with, bro? It's like, <laughs> it's easy. This shit is so super easy, man. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. What's up, bro? Says Charlie, what's your opinion on Joe Biden? I hate all politics. I'm glad that uh, Joe's getting seen through right now, and that you know, yeah, that, that everybody hates politics right now. <laughs> Everybody's all together hating on the right person. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I think it's good. You know, it really there's not there's nothing like a good uh, uh, hate mob to really bring everybody together. Just like how Isaac and Michael, you know, unified you all. You know, by and hate on me like Isaac and I've I've actually heard Isaac people like Larry and Starshine and them have actually said that they have created law lifelong lasting relationships and friendships with one another through bonding over hating Charlie Chill over bonding over hating me and talking shit about me, bro. That's how powerful. You know, hate can be on somebody, man. But I want to show you guys anyway. Or also, that just shows you how powerful I am, dude. And the fact that I lasted. I outlasted these fools. Holy shit, guys. I'm still dancing, man. Bob and weave. Bob and weave, motherfucker. Bob and weave. <laughs> anyway. That's just, that's just a testament to my uh, to my lasting ability, quite frankly, you know. To, uh, to, to, uh. To go toe to toe for so long and to have the odds against me like the way they were and to still, you know, come out swinging every day, guys. I just came out fighting. I never gave up. Oh, man. Stood up to every damn body, you know, but then, you know, the ultimate fight that I the, uh, that 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 showed me the most victory and the most prize you know, from fighting, you know, was myself. And when I finally stood up to myself and I got rid of the demons of addiction and doubt, well, I mean, the doubt and anger and stuff is, you know, and depression and all that ball of bullshit, you know, is still there inside of me. But, you know, I'm dealing with it now without, you know, looking, you know, for that, uh, that chemical fix, you know, pills and alcohol help you forget a lot of shit you know what i'm saying but it's always there when you wake up the next morning and you're always no matter who you got into it with you know, no matter what kind of past you had with who you know the next morning when you wake up and you realize that you fucked up you know you fucked up you know you are your biggest enemy you are your biggest demon you know and it and it took you know fuck the battle with michael and isaac and them you know the battle with myself and the battle with you know against you know uh 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 um addiction you know is uh my greatest victory you know to date man and i'm proud of it ghostface thank you so very much says was the dream car video staged or was it genuine 
I told you, man, it was staged, dude. Completely staged. The original video happened like a couple of days before the actual video was taken. Yeah. And like I said, the reason that, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was always going to be done off camera. Michael always stages every damn thing. You know what I mean? Liberty Hercules in the house. Much love to you. Thank you for joining. Uh, Eileen Tortorola. Oh, I'm sorry. Eileen Tortolero. Wow. Much love to you. How are you doing tonight? Eileen is wonderful. She follows. And she remembered. Like I say, dude, she remembered when I got that shirt from fucking Florida, dude, in Melbourne, dude. Fo follow me as I was riding the bus. Who remembers when I was riding the motherfucking bus route in Melbourne vlogging, dude? Had my fucking iPhone while I'm sitting on a goddamn bus doing my daily vlogs to you guys, bro. I almost cried. I'm about like tearing up right now, bro. Been through so fucking much, dude. And it feels so good, man, to be here, you know, on top. You know, like I said, not again, not against just my demons, you know, you know, my haters and shit, but also myself, Liberty and Hercules. Thank you so much. I love you, brother. McKee Hall says, I think all of Michael's videos are staged. I'm telling you, it was all staged, bro. Like, uh, so like Tina, Tina fucking Dandridge screwed that up for dad. Whenever her and damn Savage were working together, who remembers whenever Tina and Savage were working together and damn Tina uh, uh, was was fe uh, uh, fed some uh, fake info. We told Tina that we got dad a damn uh, peanut wagon for Christmas. That there was a peanut wagon on the side of dad's shed. She told dad, she told dad exactly where fucking Michael had hid the present. So dad's snooping all around the fucking the barn wanting to see his shit. Oh, I want to see my peanut wagon because fucking damn Savage Tuna went with that fake info, went to Savage, and then Savage did a a, a video tomorrow. You buy your grand your daddy a peanut pot so he can go out and sell peanuts for you. Who remembers that? And that's this is Isaac's best friend now. Isaac and Savage are like this. This is Isaac on top, crushing the shit out of her, holding her to fuck down. Oh my god. And she tried. She thought she was ruining Grandpa's Christmas. Mel Michael even even re, has even retweeted Savage and has forgiven her. Forgiven her. Ruining damn Grandpa's Christmas present and had him think he had thinking he had a peanut pot though. That was good. That was good. Like like hell, Dad thought he had a peanut pot. Ghost face. No, dad knew he didn't have a peanut pot, though. Yeah, it says, is Michael really packing a big one like he claims? <laughs> right, I assure you, I wouldn't know, man. I've never seen Michael's wang. I did see his balls one time, though. Oh, God. And that was whenever he was doing the Shannon, that Shannon bit, and I was living over there, and I just happened to look down, and he got some big old balls on him, you know, proportionate to his body, I guess, anyway. <laughs> But that's all I saw, and I put I put I put that on everything on my dad right there. On, I put that on my dad's ashes right there. <laughs> oh my god! So, anyways, so dad's peeking around and poking around the barn and shit, and he's looking for his his uh uh his surprise, his gift, his peanut wagon. I don't know what the fuck, man. Whether he thought it was or not, we fed Tina that bullshit, and she fed it to Savage, and Savage went with it. And uh, and uh, ate it up. And then that's when we knew that Tina was feeding Savage the information. Silver Surfer, thank you so much. Says, hey, Charlie, what's up, bro? I'm at work right now. I know your birthday is coming up. And I was wondering if I can have the mankind pants. What the hell? Who were you? Is it going to be my birthday? Why am I supposed to give you something on my birthday? What the hell what kind of tradition is that where you come from? That's called Yankee birthday. <laughs> you're supposed to give me your mom's mankind pants what about that what's your mom's mankind pants yeah uh, dane farewell did the stunts for ghostface i uh, know i did not know who that was so anyways yeah so like i say michael uh uh tina uh thought that she uh had Savage ruined Dad's Christmas, you know, when in fact Dad had gotten a 55. 
sitting there underneath the damn tarp. <clears throat> and my, Michael actually had to stop dad. Dad, stop a couple of times. Stop it, dad. Until finally, like, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it to him. <laughs> dad was so excited. I kind of think dad kind of knew. I think dad, I think at one point dad, we looked up, dad saw that it wasn't no fucking peanut wagon. He looked around. He saw that damn tarp over what could we didn't try. Michael didn't. We didn't try to build any for any framework or anything. We just took a tarp and put it over the car, you know. So I know that Dad, if he if he looked over, he saw it. He knew it was a car, you know. And then so we we're like, "Fuck it, all right, Dad. Let's go ahead and give it to you," you know. So we all gathered. Or we all gathered around on the side of the uh, of the barn, you know, and. Uh, I was pretty much like, all right, here you go. <laughs> you know, it's like, I know you've always wanted one. And so we went ahead and pulled the the tarp off the car. And then uh, dad, dude, he just started crying. Ghostface, thank you so much. Says, you ever watch Dads Against Predators? No, I haven't watched that. I'll have to check that out. Silver Surfer says, love you, Charlie. Wow, much love to you back, bro. You need to get back up here, man. We'll do some more camping. Find ourselves a new spot. Maybe go back to Grad Prong. Get you some learning lessons, uh, swimming lessons in before you try to jump in. But <laughs> that was hell. But yeah. So um, uh, now Dan, dads against predators. I have not heard about it. I have to jot that down. Somebody make a mental note. Dads against predators. Uh, uh, what Doug should have did to Michael. <laughs> you know, if Doug was in Bridget's life, which I'm not taking necessarily putting uh slamming doug on that you know we all know how relationships go we all know how baby mamas go you know what i mean and if they don't want you in the picture man they can make your life fucking hell you know and yeah so but anyway dad's back to dad's story you know so whoop, we pull the uh uh the tarp back and bam there it is you know white and orange burnt orange 55 bel air you know and dad starts crying kind of oh god oh you know kind of he was into it man he was he was blown away quite frankly you know and then he's like oh and dad's like michael's like what do you think you know we're all just we all stopped for a little bit bright what is up we all stopped for a minute we kind of let dad you know dad soak it in we're like what do you think you know and then my michael we let michael talk you know it was all michael's deal michael bought him the 55 and shit you know uh uh and uh yeah you know michael's like what do you think and dad's like no 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 i swear to god bro if i'm lying i'm freaking dying on dad's ashes dude and he started saying no he said no like a couple times no no and then he screamed it dude just like that he goes no and we're all like what <laughs> and like dad was just sitting there all by his, he was all sitting all by himself because like we're like okay this is all for you so he was like no he was just kind of uh, you know, and it was, I, I just look at him now, look, and they just seem kind of old, you know, and his, and his, and his sweatshirt was un, uh, unzipped and kind of hanging loosely at, the, at his sides and shit. And he was, he was speechless. He was stunned, dude. He screamed, no. And we're, and we're like, why not? You deserve this. You earned this. You earned this car, dad. You know, despite the fact that Michael loves to bring up, I bought my father a house. I bought my father a car. You know, even though right then and there, we you earned this. This is yours. Don't make you, you know, you know how guilty dad felt for having something that he earned? Goddamn. David Luno. Yo, what's up, brother? Holy shit, yeah. Says, yo, what's up, brother? It's been a long time. Hell yeah, man. How have you been, bro? Hopefully all is well. And uh, yeah, man, how about, this is cool, bro. I love, I love seeing old faces, old friends, you know what I'm saying? after uh i've been doing good you know it really really helps me like yo man these people that i lost along the way they're back i'm doing well you know tiger claw just arrived what up tiger claw i'm sure i don't know why the fuck i just threw west side into a tiger claw that was almost like a, an ostrich grip or something i need to grab my ice water real quick hold one second guys soak in the background a moment if you will Thank you. 
Okie dokie. I had to find Bubba. I love this thing, man. Shout out to Bubba. <laughs> this is my best friend at work. Mm. I really need to use it more, though. I've been drinking a lot of sodas lately <laughs> and I'm starting to really fill up my man boobs. My man boobs are starting to fill up with, with, with uh, soda sugar. I need to fix that. <laughs> Tiger Claw Pennywise. Yeah, Mike took the credit for the house. And the car, but it was not for AGP. None of that would have happened. And honestly, I mean, I mean, nobody can debate or argue that, quite frankly, you know. You know, in case point right here, uh, man, I mean, I'm, I'm deflecting off of Isaac. We're going to get back to him. But case in point is the fact that Michael is still out here selling fucking grandpa merch. And when's the last damn, when's the last honest to goodness uh, new grandpa video that you've seen drop? On grandpa's channel besides being some shit that's already been seen or like what like a minute of something never before seen you know chopped up with like minutes of michael sobbing and crying and tugging on your heartstrings to feel bad for him and trying to what he's really trying to do is soak up as many minutes as he can so he can cross that threshold what 10 minutes and he can put ads that one dude says Michael claims he has hundreds of unseen videos. But then what happened to damn? Didn't he also claim that a lot of those videos were uh, wiped out with some hard drive that was destroyed or some shit like that? Like he comes up, he comes up with a new story every six months, believing people who have forgot the old stories. Richard Flores, much love, says, can you tell us when AGP broke the blockbuster movie and had to pay it back? I'm not so sure I remember that one there, friend. Damn it. I wish I did. Show you just real quick with Isaac anyway, man. Uh, let's see here. He says that he says him and his, his, uh, his kid and his, and his wife are having such a wonderful time playing Uno together. He doesn't have a pet, but what the fuck is that down there at the foot of the bed? Hiding right out of sight. Oh, it looked like two ears and a head. Oh, look like a fluffy, fluffy kitty. Oh, take a look. See at the key. Oh. After Isaac claims, I ain't got pets. I don't have animals. After the landlord said that he went in there and that Isaac's house smelled like a zoo. Now, like I said, I had my reservations at first. You know, like I'm sure Isaac smells like a barn animal. The house, I assure you, smells like a zoo. Without an animal in it. But there's a kitty kitty. Yeah, it's, it's either a kitty or a gizmo. Don't feed it after midnight. Oh, is that the name Piggy? Is the, name, the cat's name is Piggy? And I thought that he said that he didn't own any animals. And that all that garbage in the, in, in the uh, garage right here. Let me see here. Where's it at? That shit right there is all, all belongs to damn the landlord. He's like, that's not mine. That's the landlord. I don't have any animals. That's his cat scratcher. I thought it, I thought it was Nikki's scratching post. It was little piggies. Oh, they're saying it's a pig. No, that thing is a damn. What? That thing ain't no pig. Hold up. Hold, hold the, hold the phone there. It ain't a piggy. Bro, that ain't no piggy. Come on, is that, does that, does that look like a pig? What's up with those ears, man? Those ears are... <laughs> y'all, y'all can't say, okay, so y'all, y'all, y'all are fucking with me. Why are you fucking with me? Goddamn. <laughs> Is y'all fucking with Isaac? He got me going. That's so hilarious. 
I want to show you all this. Isaac had fun all day. I'm, I misunderstood Isaac's tweet this morning. So he had so much fun with it. He said 22 hours ago, he started talking shit about this woman, Diane. He says, time to get back the church, time to get the computer back from the church for a week. What kind of shit is this? Like, look, look, look. Time to get back the computer from the church for a week. And then, of course, his people will go on to say what? You said that his computer was at the church for the podcast. Why the fuck does the pastor need to use your computer? Didn't they say, didn't Isaac say that, oh, me and the pastor, we're going out and we're getting top of the uh, top of the line, state of the art equipment for our brand new podcast that lasted, what, two episodes? Which, no, it didn't. They're still running their, online, uh, their uh, uh, Sunday services and Wednesday and shit. But they're not doing that shit with Isaac. It's Isaac's computer, but he just keeps it at the at the church. Really? Like what the what the fuck? Like it's both ours. He's like he's like red. It's like it's like uh, pa Pastor Roy is Debo and he's red. We, it, it, it's kind of like it's both ours. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll just keep it at your house, boss. I kind of just sounded like red there too a little bit. Kind of like it's both ours, you know. <laughs> oh my God, Isaac. Uh, uh, resume says who's Isaac? Isaac is uh, Michael's friend. Isaac. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to uh, kid behind a camera. Isaac guest. Kid behind a camera. Isaac. There he is. Called things explode. Isaac is the one that that Michael paid to come to. Charleston and try and get me to fight him so that I would go to jail the night before I was supposed to go to rehab. This is Michael's best friend, Isaac Guest. They run that they uh they had a wet a podcast together called uh uh well, shut the fuck up and listen. Here it is right here. Michael and Isaac, his best friend Isaac. The guy that Michael has paid. To not only dox and harass me for years, but also numerous, many, 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 many people on a, on, on here online, whether they be innocent or whether they tried to do videos speaking out against Michael. Isaac would call himself Michael's cleanup guy. Do you know who I'm talking about now? A lot of you don't because Michael actually tries to keep Isaac under the radar. You know what I mean? Like Isaac has really become a, a liability to Michael here lately, you know, and I've been doing nothing but exposing the shit out of him uh, for the past uh, uh, four or five months. Uh, feel free to back catalog my live streams, bro. I mean, I, I go over, you know, 10, 10 plus years of police testimony, you know, within three different counties of Pennsylvania against Isaac and his wife, Nicole. Thomas D., thank you so much, says, I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Isaac thinks he's the Jesus of YouTube and that guest mob are his disciples. He definitely feels like he's uh, 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 some sort of messiah. But hey, I want to I show you this, guys. You're going to laugh your ass off. You're going to laugh your ass off. You know, Craig, Craig got, I'm, I'm full of these Friday things on Friday. You're going to laugh your ass off, guys. So check it out. Fatty got it. Fatty had a field day with the fact that I thought that he had to borrow because I said he had to borrow the, ch the computer from the church. You're like, what the fuck is your computer doing at the church? You stupid fuck. You know, got to borrow the computer, got to get the computer. Your, your computer, Pastor Troy's computer. And what the fuck are you doing bringing damn church up and, you know, trying to get church involved with fucking your beef with anybody online? Maybe you guys should go ahead and go uh, uh, text. Pastor Roy, go ahead, send him a message, hit him up on YouTube, uh, live stream Sunday morning, and let him know that one of his computers are now being considered, you know, in the online harassment of this Diane chick again, who, by the way, I don't believe uh, at all. Isaac claims that the woman uh, scammed who? Jude, St. Jude's Hospital or something? Brown's Boy 23, thank you so much, says Mike and Isaac can't be on the same elevator. Definitely not. 
Isaac claims that this Diane lady, some random Diane woman, scammed St. Jude's Hospital out of a bunch of money, you know, and claims that they had all kinds of proof. They went after her like freaking four or five months ago. If you think that they had that much proof and evidence against this woman and that they whistle blew the way that they did, that she would have done suffer the consequences by now. Oh, but no, Isaac is still going after her for the same shit that the woman is yet to suffer consequences for. Even though Isaac himself has been exposed, uh, uh, scamming and conniving his own community out of over $5,000. Do we have any ex-guest mob in the house right here? Eth uh, ethereal, uh, ethereal Leon says, uh, looks like Mike is just about to walk away from Bridget. You know, that's all made up. The whole stalker shit, we'll get into that too. You know all that shit is made up. I think they might have themselves a living piece of ass or something maybe now. Hey, I don't know. I know she's not very attractive, though. She looks like, kind of reminds me of Tina a little bit. Tina Dandridge. Bright says, Charlie, thank you for hearting my comment when I told you that you helped me through depression. Well, you're welcome. You know, I, uh, 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 you know that I know what it's like to be depressed. To feel like you got the whole world against you. Today, I almost had the whole world against you. Like I said, there was so there were so many days I woke up and had people on Messenger. Kill yourself. Kill yourself, Charlie. Fucking die. Run in front of traffic. You're worthless. Nobody loves you. Your family hates you. You know, I was waking up daily to this shit. The whole world is dumping on me, you know. And, and you know what? I pushed the fuck through. There, Like I said, there were times where I thought about it. But you know what, man? I pushed the fuck through, man. Because, you know, life is worth living, bro, man. It's like, and things always get better. Despite how bad things have been for us, they have gotten better. Like, think about it. Your worst moment in life ever happened when? And how many good things have happened since? that lowest moment of your life you know so i mean you are a living example that things get better if you just manage to survive this earth long enough you live witness to that brown's boy 23 thank you so much says i love it when they call me big porpoise <laughs> he, he hates it when they call him big popper throw your hands in the air if you're on welfare <laughs> He loves it. He hates it when you call him Big Popper. Scamming dummies out of their Social Security money. Captain Rodriguez throw a 20 bone at me. Much love. Thank you so very much. I like that color right there, man. It goes well with your uh, your biohazard symbol. <laughs> much love, man. I like that. Money, money, money. I keep dropping this quarter. Every time I drop a quarter, I think about my preacher, Dan Helvey. I don't know if they ever told y'all. Dan, oh, Dan Helvey was the one that we uh, that 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 uh, came up on us while we were watching Cliffhanger. We all had to pretend like we weren't watching. We were like, "Oh, nothing, oh," you know. And then he was like, "Oh, is this what you're watching?" He found the box, the box, the <gasps> Cliffhanger. We'll put it on. I like watching movies. So next thing you know, we're watching Cliffhanger with the preacher and fucking uh, Sylvester Stallone shooting my fuckers up and we're all just like ooh we want to we want to cheer but the preacher is there watching us watching us he ain't he watching the movie he's watching us he's like he's like a fucking guidance counselor or some shit and I dropped a quarter one one day while he was preaching in this little small ass fucking church dude like <laughs> it was sad how small this place was uh half this trailer you know if that and damn, he really could have used that quarter. And he stopped his, he watched me pick it up. And maybe he thought that I was going to drop that quarter in the collection plate. You know what I mean? But I did. And I kept it, man. And I went, after we got home, I, collect, I collected two more pennies. And I walked to the gas station and I bought me a nutty bar. I'll never forget it, man. And I felt liberated. I was like, yeah. I stole from God. I stole from Dan Helvey. Here's your quarterback, <laughs> sir. <laughs> And then some, I'll have to see Charlie and give him his quarter, or Helvey and give him his quarterback. That's what that conjured up. Thank you. That's what that $20 conjured up. Thank you so very much, man. So where was I? Oh, yeah. We're going back to, going back to Big Popper. Steady bumming. 
claiming, you know, scared, steady bumming, scamming dummies out of their social security money. Says, uh, so he gets all, ah, Joe, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Of course I don't, because I don't follow your shit. If you check this out, he's like, somebody explain it to him. And everybody's like, you literally said your computer. He's like, I'm pretty sure you're talking about your computer. You said, motherfucker, I don't know what you say. I don't follow your shit. But, but here's something that Isaac shared about himself while he was trying to make fun of me. He took a screenshot of my Facebook, okay? He took a screenshot of my Facebook post, of my, uh, uh, my post on Facebook, and take a look beside my name. Or look underneath my name right here. Isaac, how, how, how funny is this going to be on you? Look at that. Look underneath my name. You see that little star with the word favorites right beside it? I am one of Isaac's favorite fucking people on Facebook, according to the algorithm. And the algorithm never, never fucking lies. Take a look, guys. I am Isaac's fucking favorite person on Facebook. And I didn't even notice it at first. My friend Rebecca Cottywample, she's a fucking detective. She was like, hey, Charlie, notice this shit. Hey, you back? That's like Isaac waking up from a dream to Charlie's face. Ah. Isaac wishes that he had that bloop and then the me. Isaac, you okay, honey? He wants me so bad. I'm his favorite. Thomas D. 20, 127 says, scatter a bag of Reese's Pieces on the floor. <laughs> scatter a bag of Reese's Pieces on the floor in front of Mike, Isaac, and Bridget and witness the creation of, of real-life heavy of hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh, my God. <laughs> I bet that's how that shit looks at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh that was fucking gold, bro. Woo! I gotta tell you, Isaac will do it just like he got, like he does it at home. Hold on. Let me show you. Isaac will just pull out the fucking belt. All right, God damn it, you stay back. Michael and Bridget, he got that belt. He'll be like, all right, come on. Come on! Back away! Back the fuck away! You back away, goddamn turkey! And you know, you pull out that belt and spank the baby. What was that episode of, uh, what was that episode of Family Guy whenever John Goodman was sitting there, uh, eating in the, in the, in the kid? Daddy, when can I have some? And he's like, when I'm finished! And then the girl's like, but there's never any left! And then the other baby falls over, Dad. Hungry, hungry hippos. I like that a lot, John. You are, uh, that was the winner tonight. <laughs> yeah, so what do you got to say to that when I'm your favorite? Oh, uh, that means a lot, Isaac. I, I regret to inform you that I don't feel the same way, though. Okay. Okay, there, sir. Oh, I got to show you this one video, though, guys. Like like I said, Isaac likes to sit there and say, no, oh, man, we don't, we don't have a dirty house. We don't keep a dirty house. Well, I'm about to show you a video, albeit an old video, but a video, uh, it only proves that some things never fucking change in the Isaac Guest household. So let me go ahead and scroll to my profile. And if anybody's watching and you've got these other videos, because there's a few other videos that Isaac put out uh, uh, exposing his wife, Nikki, exposing her on her lack of, uh, uh, of cleanliness and, uh, and, and her lack of parenting, how, she, how her child was choking on a hot dog. If somebody has that choking video, please send that to me on uh, my uh, Twitter uh, private. Erica, if you see, if you... If you know which one that is, send that to me. She's in there watching. Uh, she's in there watching Downton Abbey right now. That show is so it's so predictable, bro. I was like, I was like, he watch him. He's gonna start walking again. He starts fucking walking again. Yeah, I was like, that guy's gonna die. He's gonna run away. Yeah, guy dies and runs away, or however the fuck it happened. Uh, Ethereal Leone, thank you so much. Says, uh, pickle idiot is a whale and loves whales like guest mob. Think of Mike and guest mob when you see whales in the ocean. So is Piggett. Ah, 
<laughs> I mean, I don't think whales in the ocean when I think of them because whales are actually very majestic and beautiful creatures, you know, and quite awe inspiring. You know, neither uh, 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 any of them can live up to, you know, I wouldn't consider Michael you know, breathtaking. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching the whale jump out of the water. If Michael and Bridget were to do it, I kind of want to look the other way. But I, I get your drift. I smell what the what the rock is cooking. <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, let me go to my Facebook or my Twitter. My tweeters. Scroll down to this video that I got. Oh, is it? Do I got it pinned up top? No, I don't. Bear with me a moment. Oh, God. And what I mean, just look at this shit. Look at them. Look how they massacred my boy. Look what they did to the old man. Look how ugly this fucking shit is. Look how fucking ugly that is, by the way. We're going to get into that. They massacred my boy. All right. I got a video here a minute and a half long. I hadn't seen this before. I don't think, you know, many people have. If I haven't seen it, you know, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you haven't seen it neither. But there's a couple of videos out here. The Goose is the guy that you want to check out. Goose, uh, Goosage uh, 12. Everyone go check him out. He's got the, the, the original video on his Twitter. Shared it three days ago to Nikki. Nikki was running her mouth about some shit. We'll go ahead and we'll read that feed here in a moment. And we got to, I got to remind you guys once again, this is Michael's best friend, Isaac Guest. Oh, funny. Brown's boy 23 says Michael walking to the kitchen is breathtaking. <laughs> Probably for both of us because when he's, for him, because for walking and when he stands up, you know, there's a whole bunch of trapped ass stank in there. That just just wafts through the whole fucking house as he walks. Oof. All right, so anyways, a minute and a half video says, yeah, follow the goose, says John Suggs. Everyone go follow Goose and check out the videos he has on here. I'm going to show you anyway, but I assure you if he, got, if he has this, uh, then they have more. Take a look at Isaac right here. He looks a little bit younger. He looks like a young job of the hut. Uh, like a, either a young job of the hut or an old Elvis. The fat Elvis after he fell asleep in a tan bed. <laughs> Thomas D says Isaac the hut. That's just All right, hold on. And so this is only a minute and 29 out of what appears to be a very long video. If you see the bar, the red bar over here, uh, it's been going for quite some time. I'd like to get more of this video. Uh, Goose, if you're watching, watching, look out for me. Got your back, Goose. All right, anyways. So let's go ahead and let uh, uh, Big Popper, you have the floor. Let us hear and see, you know, your, what, what exactly you're living in over there. Like, if, if I walked downstairs and I showed you what our downstairs looks like right now, what she has let it become with her laundry. Like, she, she, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. Her laundry. She, even, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. She does, en she does just enough to get by. There's nowhere to walk downstairs right now. It's a sea of clothes and just crap. He wanted to say garbage. He wanted to say garbage, but it would have made him himself look bad. Literally. You know? Oh, shit. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. Oh, man. Speaking of taste. Oh, gross. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you have for me? Ooh. No, I can't find the ranch. Okay. Thanks, babe. Mm. Oh, check it out. Speaking of taste. You know, look at what I got going. Ah, na, 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 Got myself. It's a hand tossed uh, Supreme DiGiorno's. 
Mm, and it's good. It's really good. Mm. And let me get a bite of this before we get to seeing what's next because I'm going to lose my appetite. These are little Memphis, hot Memphis style nuggies. I'm not sure that they're Tyson. But it almost seems like some sort of pressed chicken meat. The delivery isn't it very great. It's tasty. All right, one more bite. And see, this is what I get from my lady. <laughs> mm -mm. You ain't never going to hear me complain about my woman. Ah! Uh-uh. My lady ain't got an arrest record that fucking long. Mm. All right, where can I put this? That Italian sausage in that Memphis is a little spicy. Ooh, that's got me hurting. I think I need an omeprazole. I know I shouldn't be taking omeprazole like that. I heard about this uh, therapist or whatever. He wrote this book about how a lot of a lot of body pains, um, back and neck and shit, you know, can be a, a, a mental thing. I forget what I forget who they said his name was, but I gotta look that into that. Maybe read into that. <sighs> Anyways, oh, maybe that'll help me with my my stomach problems rather than taking omeprazoles until they got to cut out a section of my intestine. All right, let's give <laughs> Kid July, bro. Oh my god. Says Isaac looks like um Umaga on cake batter. <laughs> god damn, guys. You guys are the comedians tonight. Woo! Thank you so much. Uh, Charming Royalty says, what stomach problems? Because I have IBS and this shit hurts. It's always like a, a sharp cramp in my stomach, you know? Sometimes it feels like I'm hungry even after I've already eaten. It's 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 bad. I don't, I hate it. I, I think, I, I went to the hospital and they said pre-ulcer. I need to go back. That was about a year ago. Ethereal one says, Mike and Guest Mob walk earthquakes go boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I don't know why that was funny. Mike, how, hold on, how did they go again? Mike and Guest Mob walk earthquakes, go boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny, though. Yeah, I like that. I like the delivery to it. It's just straight up. Uh, Brown's Boy 23, much love to you. Says, sorry about the trimmers, China. Isaac needs his mail. Well, you know, Isaac doesn't get off his ass and get anything. He called. He, he, the, he said. He, he said that. He, I showed you that he doesn't do any laundry. Take out the trash. Isaac is. Uh, he's. He's physically disabled. He collects disability or welfare or what the fuck ever. And uh, uh, because of how big he is, Dad did the same thing. Uh, Thomas D twenty seven says. Uh, uh, Michael doesn't realize that you don't have to spend $200 plus on fast food to have a decent meal. Some of his orders feed a family of 12. I saw that, you know, and it was right after he posted a picture of him losing weight too. And got a lot of good congratulations and shit. And then all of a sudden here he is. He bought half of Moe's. He called him up. He's like, yeah, I just want to, I just want you to take everything in the, everything in the pans right now and bring them to my house. Everything. Take a picture of what, of, of the, of the bar. Okay, I want that. And they brought it to his house. Luke Pickle says, uh, uh, hi, such a fan with your content. And Isaac looks like uh, big scoops of ice cream, but melty and saggy. <laughs> Definitely melty and saggy, dude. But like, <laughs> did you hear that? He even said, literally. What did you say, Isaac? Literally. 
What do you look like, Isaac? Literally. You know, look, look at that. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. Okay. Oh, God, hold on. Okay, so he's about to flip it around right now. <laughs> Dr. Stevens bitch says everyone trying to beat the jokes now. They want to be top dog. I'm telling you, man, you guys are the show tonight. Holy shit. How's this feel, Michael? How's this feel, Isaac? I hope it stings just a little bit. And we ain't even got to Michael yet in the in the merchandise and what the angry grandpa fucking community thinks about Michael, you know, uh, still swarming on dad's name for a dollar, even though he hasn't given fucking zip back. I think I'm pretty much broaching it and going over it. <laughs> I'm just I'm pretty much glossing over it as we speak. Anyways, let's give the floor back uh, to Isaac. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Like, if, if I walked downstairs and I showed you what our downstairs looks like right now. Look at him. He's for real, too. She has let it become with her laundry. Like, did you see that? Dude, like, look at, like, hold on. Look at his face when he when he talks about this. Like, he's literally seeing in his mind how fucked up this, and, and, and dude, and it's a look on his face that I can be like, yo, that's got to be bad. Look at his face when he's describing. All this shit is so fucking real and funny. It's hilarious. Like, if, if I walked downstairs and I showed you what look, downstairs looks like. Look right at his now, face right now, bro. Look, he's like, She Ugh. has let it become with her laundry. Like, she, she, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. Watch, well, he's about to say garbage, she, almost. She, she doesn't even do laundry anymore. She does, en she does just enough to get by. There's nowhere to walk downstairs right now. It's a sea of clothes and just crap. He almost said garbage. He's about to show you Literally. garbage, though. Literally. You know, look, look at that. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. Oh, that's, look. That's only a taste of what the kitchen looks like. There's Isaac's kitchen right there. That's what, that's what his kitchen looks like. Garbage. All on the counter. Look, and dude, look at that. Look, the, look, there's a fucking garbage can in the middle of all the garbage. And guess where there's no garbage? In the fucking garbage can. Look. Look right fucking there, guys. Hold on. I, I shit you fucking not. Look, here is a picture of a sea of fucking garbage in the middle of an empty garbage can. How fucked do you got to be? Holy shit, dog dick. Luke Pickle says, but if I had to say about Michael... One, he's scared of people. Two, scared of his own reflection. And three, he's got one lying mouth. Whatever comes out of it. What do y'all think? Red says that video is about three years old. <clears throat> yep. And guess what? Hold on. That video is about three years old. And you know where I'm getting at, don't you? Uh, you walked right into it. That video is indeed three years old. But guess what? This video, this picture's not. This picture's from this year. This picture right here is from a whole different fucking house. A whole new residence. Where's this other video? Hold on. Where's this other video I got of him? Uh, uh, hold on a second. Yeah. So that right there shows you that there, that he has a history of keeping his fucking house disgusting. Disgusting as fuck three years ago, disgusting as fuck today. Where's this other video at? We're almost there. Where are we at? Come on, where are you at? I think I might have gone past it. Haha. <laughs> uh, somebody, uh, somebody on Facebook shared that with me. I thought I'd share it on here. Give a thumbs up when she's under eighteen. And I got to ask you, does that Woggy girl look like she's a little young? She looks like she's a little young. It looks like her teeth are kind of fucked up. Like maybe she's, you know, experiencing drugs and alcohol right now. 
but she still looks kind of young. What do you think? Where's this video at? Oh, I, you know what? I really love the Downton Abbey uh, music, though. The intro and outro. I really, I don't know what the fuck it reminds me of, but it really makes me calm. <laughs> it really makes me calm. There it is. Hear it? I love it. I don't know why. I'm secretly in love with Downton Abbey. What is that? Uh, the family guy said that we all love the crown because, you know, we're trash and it's very fancy. All right. I'm getting to this video. I'm smelling pizza, too. Where the hell am, where, where the hell am I smelling pizza from? Sage. I know it's right beside me. Oh, yeah, here's a, here's a funny picture of Fatty sitting right here, uh, sitting in his van outside a, a football practice waiting for autographs. Are you a famous YouTuber? Thomas D says, what the fuck is wrong with Nikki for her to think Isaac is attractive in the first place? I don't know. She. Oh, Kid July says, we wouldn't want to know what downstairs looks like, Isaac says. He can't even see it. He can't even see downstairs. Wink, wink. Uh, Isaac can't even see his own downstairs. Uh, Kid July. Courtesy of Kid July. Zing. Take that, Isaac. Browns Boy 23 says, what is Fatty's uh, favorite style of pizza? Popperoni. <laughs> Are you stupid? Oh, my God. Isaac's favorite pizza is pepperoni. It's kind of hard to tell, but you know there are a bunch of boxes right there. What do them boxes look like to you? Does that can you tell if that's pepperoni or not? Miss Cotty Wapple says, "Don't forget to hit that like. No more dislikes." Ah! Did they do that? Did they really do? No more dislikes. I didn't care anyway. I wasn't getting much hate. We could call Mandy's Pizza. Remember, Isaac would get a visit from the local police telling them, please do not call Mandy's Pizza anymore. If you do, you will be arrested. All because Isaac didn't wasn't satisfied with the pizza. He had gotten half of he ate half of a bad pizza and then called and wanted, demanded a new free pizza plus wings and a, and a soda and a lava cake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and thirty dollars out of Mandy's till, and she wouldn't do it. And so he called her over and over and over again until finally they called the police and they were like, "Sir, you cannot call them like this." And Isaac's like, "Well, I only called a couple of times. How embarrassing!" What? That's weird. Anyway, so it very well could be pepperoni. We know how Isaac loves his pepperoni. <laughs> and like I said, you know, I wanted to throw Isaac in on this tonight because, damn, uh, like, like I said, once again, he's going after this woman whom, even if he was telling the truth about, and she was scamming St. Jude's Hospital out of this amount of money. You know, well, then they would, they should have done, did something about it by now. You know that these organizations, they have organizations that look into shit like that. Fraud? Oh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you know, you can go to uh, uh, many different organizations. That you, they have to go through different kind of like transparency uh, stages in order for the money to be filtered out properly and shit and Bro, like, you know, this woman that would have been done, gotten arrested, charged. <laughs> Fallon Jade said his downstairs has been condemned. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure it fucking smells like death down there. And like I said, oh, man, like you seen the look in his eyes, dude. It was like a look of terror. Like he really, it took him to a faraway place when he thought about just downstairs. Holy fuck. Excuse me, picking my nose right here in front of you guys. 
But yeah, you know, Isaac wants to sit there and, and talk about this with, you know, other people scamming, yada, yada. He has no business. When let's go ahead and look at Larry H. Where's Larry H? What has Larry H been up to? Streamed four days ago. Let's see if he still has the video of him calling out Isaac. Uh, I don't think he does. I think he might have made it on private. He didn't stand behind his words. But as we all know, Isaac got caught scamming his own community out of five thousand plus dollars. You know, Isaac, the same person who every single year has a donation set up for a low, for a couple of needy families. Go figure, right? And I was I was going to talk about that tonight. I didn't really have too much else until I saw. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck? Look at this shit. I guarantee you Michael's banging this chick. Garen, fucking T, you Michael is banging this chick. She looks kind of like a dude. She kind of looks like, I don't know. Oh, look at them teeth. I don't know what to think about this. Oh, my God. Whoa, that's gnarly, bro. Dude, that's kind of gross right there. I guarantee you Michael's banging her, dude. Kind of looks like Michael. Looks like Michael in a wig. Look, look at that. It looks like Shannon. She, it looks like Michael in a wig. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man, she got cedar written on her damn shirt. It looks like she's been chewing on some cedar chips. Look at that fucking teeth. Her shit's almost as bad as Isaac's. Hmm. She kind of reminds me of that old lady from uh, Kingpin. You're still two months behind on rent. <laughs> you hadn't seen that when you're missing out. Look up Kingpin. Damn, I just totally blew my own mind with that one. Um, going back to Isaac now. For a moment, we're bouncing back and forth. It looks like a young Bridget. It looks like Michael... <laughs> you know, he couldn't afford a time machine, so he actually found somebody, you know, that looked like a young Bridget, you know. Now that we've called him out for, you know, banging strange, Bridget probably won't let him bang uh, sexy chicks anymore. <laughs> Bridget's like, they got to kind of look like me, or you can't have them. Michael's like, fuck, why did I go around bragging about it? Thomas D127, thank you, says Isaac went to pay someone handsomely to dust the dead skin and cobwebs off his buried little chipolata. Well, he had Nikki. Let's go here. Let's go down to Nikki's mama. Like I said, he threw some shade at her earlier. And since then, she took, she had what married on her pro on her bio, and now it's changed to what? Mommy. Mommy. Of four, mommy, and if you'll remember, she got trolled by somebody uh, uh, for a couple of months by JP, uh, and, uh, and she was calling this dude Poppy. She was mommy, and he was Poppy. Who remembers that shit? And Isaac's like, "Oh, we did that together. Me and Nikki, we trolled Isaac when we we trolled JP by sending him nude pictures of uh, uh, Nikki." Like, what the fuck? Huh? Well, she has since taken off, uh, married and taken, and now she's a mommy again. What's that about? <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that whenever I was going to grandpa's community. All right, we're going to grandpa. I knew, oh, yeah. Because of, oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to show Isaac's teeth. <laughs> Look at this shit. Well, 
Look at this shit. Much love, Kyle Roberts. Look at this dude. He's trying to do. He's trying to get right. <laughs> look at look at that. Look at that brown. Look at that brown stained tan shit under his neck. Looks like the ring around a toilet bowl. Like that wax ring, you know what I'm saying? In a bar, that wax ring, man, motherfuckers piss on until it's like, it's like all the urine soaks into it and it's like a brown fucking ring around the bottom of the toilet. I bet you, and I guarantee that's what his fucking neck smells like, too. Pig popper. <laughs> Serial killer called him pig popper. Look at this shit. He's trying to get his teeth right. Now, let's see what his teeth actually look like, though. <laughs> Where is it at? I think it's right here. Oh, yeah, first, hey. Also, yeah, here, here's, uh, here's a picture of Isaac's new house right now. Look how filthy. Look how dirty the house is. Disgusting house, poor kids. Let's see if we got this picture of him with his teeth. Where the hell did that picture go, damn it? It's not here. Okay. This is a true story. Hey! Shout out to Goose. Then sent me a new video. Who wants to hear another story from Isaac? This is going to be new to me, too. Mystic Joe Crispy says, what happened with JC staying with you, etc.? Has he moved back now? JC got manipulated by his Uncle Mikey to damn to give to give me up uh, to tell Uncle Mikey where I worked at. And they tried to get me fired from my job. So I kicked JC out, you know. Maybe I sh maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I did. I can't trust him right now. Uh, let's see here. Time to go to bed then, right? Oh, this is a two-minute video right here. Who wants to hear a two-minute video? Oh, God. Here we go. There's been many... There, okay, <laughs> this is a true story. There's been a true... There, this is a true story. <laughs> That's all, <laughs> folks. Is. Whoever, I don't know who it, who it was, but they had a muffin and they smashed it into the carpet on the on the, the steps that go downstairs. A muffin. They had some blueberries that got smashed into the step. And I couldn't fucking help it, but I jumped from the top of the very steps like Jeff Hardy. And I fucking face planted into that muffin and sucked it out of that carpet like a fucking of a costumist. <laughs> Until there wasn't even the hint of a blueberry left. I'm pretty sure that's not how the story went, but, you know, that would have been funny. Like, fucking straight up fucking swanton bomb from the top of the fucking stairs. Wham! Boom! And he hits that motherfucker. <laughs> Muffin gone. Isaac, 30 muffins. Zero. It ain't the first. It ain't the first piece of food that lands on the floor when you got that many kids running around. When you got that many shit asses running around. Thank God I ain't got no kids. I mean, I got one. <laughs> but yeah, I, I. She hasn't been in my life in so damn long. Yeah, I don't have kids. You know. But yeah, I remember when we grew up. Our house was completely fucking filthy. And there was four of us that just didn't do shit. We're like, whatever. You know, in our house, I was embarrassed to bring motherfuckers over to my house. Uh, apparently, you know, Isaac's kids are embarrassed to bring people to their house, too. There's been a true, this is a true story. One of the kids, whoever, I don't know who it, who it was, but they had a muffin. And they smashed it into the carpet on the, on the, the steps that go downstairs. The muffin. And they had some blueberries that got smashed into the yeah, steps. Yeah, he, he really fucking getting descriptive about this so muffin. So I was walking upstairs, you know, 
and, and the muffin also had crust on it. And the crust it was it, it was lightly crispy and buttered, and it was it was it was it was it was it was, it was a land of lakes butter. I remember because I was at the at the supermarket and I got the land of lakes butter, and I was I thought about getting these peanut butter cookies that I saw too. You know these peanut butter cookies they got like the Reese's pieces in it. You know, and I mean they're really good. If you hadn't had them, you got to try them, man. They're they're uh, uh, it's a new thing that Reese's had with. We would toll house, you know, it's like they use the toll. <laughs> God damn, he's getting really descriptive about the fucking food. Let's hear about the child abuse that we know for sure is coming. It was, but they had a muffin and they smashed it into the carpet on the on the steps that go downstairs. They had some blueberries. <laughs> Corey Phillips says Isaac is the, the muffin man. So I'm walking upstairs. Ah, uh, damn it. And I, I got it. He goes to bed, and I wake up in the middle of the night. I keep waking up. I'm like, I was thinking about that fucking muffin, you know. Until so finally, I just keep tiptoe down the stairs like Peter Griffin on Christmas morning, and I snuck that muffin and I ate it in the corner in the dark on my hands and knees, and, and felt so much shame for myself, but only for a moment. I let one tear come out, and I pushed that motherfucker back up in, and then I searched the house for more crushed muffins. The Muffin Man. <laughs> ah, damn. Ain't we just having a hoot tonight? But they had a muffin. And they smashed it into the carpet on the on the, the steps that go downstairs. The Muffin Man. They had some blueberries that got smashed into the step. So I'm walking upstairs, you know, and I'm like, what the hell did I just step? I look down, I'm like, what is this? Like, it's very special to carpet. And he, and, and he actually, for the first time ever, he saw his fucking foot. He's like, ah, ah. tried to fucking eat that muffin off of his foot. See, we know he's lying right there because he said he stepped on something and looked down. No, you stepped on something and you backed away and looked down. In the general direction, you didn't look straight down. Like you, you step. He stepped on something, and then he goes uh, and look that way down. He didn't look straight down. He had to back up and then diagonally look at what the hell he just stepped on. What was that smushy thing I just stepped on? Let me back up and look in that direction that I just stepped. It's more like it. On the steps that go downstairs. They had some blueberries that got smashed into the step. So I'm walking upstairs, you know, and I'm like, what the hell did I just step? I look down, I'm like, what is this? Like, it's berries <laughs> smashed into the carpet. I go upstairs, I'm like, hey, there's a bear, there's berries and there's a muffin smashed into the carpet. Who who, who did that? You know? <laughs> She's like, oh, they did that earlier. I'll get it. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. What the hell? All right, so he's sitting there, and he's like, both parents now walk past the fucking crushed muffin, and now he's going to start uh, casting blame. Bro, you just fucking stepped. Not only did you pass it, but you also stepped in it. You smushed it further into the fucking carpet. You know? Just work your way down however you got to do it. Grab the, grab the fucking... The, the railing and kind of drop one knee and then you know hope for the best i just gave myself a cramp ah and clean it the fuck up oh he says imagine being that lazy oh my god imagine so fucking lazy that instead of cleaning it up, you'd rather just you'd rather step in it, smush it in further, walk upstairs and yell at your wife about it. Kato Smith says, Charlie, you should do another Q&A. <laughs> Kimberly Veneman Veneman says, bright for the love of Muffin Man. Please leave and go to bed. <laughs> the motherfucking Muffin Man. Isaac, you are the Muffin Man, bro. He's making all kinds of names for himself. The Big Popper, the Muffin Man. My fave, or no, uh, uh, you know, I don't know how I would say. He's not my number one, but I'm his favorite. What did Cryptic say? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
All right, we are. We had a little laugh at, at Bright. Bright, much love to you. Have a great night. I'm sorry that I that I haven't seen your uh, your, uh, your your comments, but have a great night. Thank you for joining. And yeah. Oh, and this was uh, three years ago. Uh, Fat Fuck is the uh, YouTube channel. Maybe I should go check this out. 3,000 views three years ago. So anyways, Isaac doesn't fucking damn. He doesn't clean up the muffin. Instead, uh, I assume that he's about to go upstairs and uh, yell at his wife. You know, the woman who he, he demands do everything in the house. You know, she's got so much going on. How she's able to pass up the muffin. Fuck it, I'll get it. Or we know, we've already known, you know, how he feels. And probably, it's probably true. You know, we said, well, I mean, it is true. We've seen the fucking house. He showed it. Plus, you know, we've seen the landlord's pictures. You know, neither one of them are worth the fuck. She, she takes these pictures of herself. You know, she gets all dolled up and shit. And I guarantee you, you know, it's like, she's got a clean cone around her. If she were to move that camera... It's a little bit left or right. It would be garbage and kids. You know? Like her fucking posing in a landfill. Eh. Oops. Let me crop it. You know, I swear to God. Put it on portrait mode. That way nobody can see the, exactly the, the, the contents of what's behind you. Anyway, let's go back to the Muffin Man. What does the Muffin Man have to say? What kind of muffin, what kind of muffin was it? A blue muffin? One of the kids, whoever. I'm starting over because it's so awesome. They had a muffin. Muffin. And they smashed it into the carpet. Well, he, on the, he's on thinking the about steps the muffin go good. Muffin. They had some blueberries that got smashed into the step. So I'm walking upstairs, you know, and I'm like, what the hell did I just step? I look down, I'm like, what is this? Like, muffin bear, hoarder. Smashed into the carpet. I go upstairs, I'm like, babe. There's a bear, there's berries, and there's a muffin smashing into the carpet. Who, who, who did that? Hey, who do you, who do you think? You know, who do you fucking like, oh, think? They did that earlier. I'll get it. I was like, oh, all right. What the hell? Time to go to bed that night. She walks down first. I walk down after. The her muffin hoarder. Same fuck, fucking blueberry. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Man, I thought you would get this. Oh, I forgot. I'll get it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, let's go to bed. I'll get it in the morning. All right, fine, cool. So that's him. He done stepped in the same fucking muffin twice and still ain't clean the shit. I bet he still got the same fucking blueberry muffin stain on his heel today. I bet if you were to fucking catch his ass heel up, man, you'd see the same blueberry muffin stain on that heel. Forgive my socks look a little dirty, but they're not. They're just worn. You'd see a fucking blue, the same blueberry stain on his heel. Fat fuck, he don't shower. He's been stepped on the same blueberry muffin twice now. In two days. Oh, god damn, bro. Oh, god damn. How Smokey would say. Oh, god damn. Excuse me, grandma. Hopefully, Erica's grandma isn't watching this. I'm going to get cold for Christmas. <laughs> Damn it. The price I pay to take these fuckers down, you know, and it's a price I'm willing to pay. I'll get it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed. I'll get it in the morning. All right. Fine. Cool. LOL, Black Master Joe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nitrozilla. <laughs> ah! He's talking about fucking Isaac is tenderizing that muffin, bro. <laughs> He's stupid as hell. So Isaac's been stepped on this muffin twice, tenderizing the hell out of it. Oh, I see where this is going now. Oh, man, I see my crystal ball. It tells me. Isaac was tenderizing his blueberry muffin, and then Nikki threw the fucking thing away. That's the thing. He doesn't get mad at her for not throwing it away. He got mad that she threw away his fucking muffin. He was, I was tenderizing that bitch two fucking days, and you going to throw it away. Yeah, bitch. I don't throw away your cooking wine. That wasn't a fart. 
<laughs> All right. So, anyways, let's get this. So, Trouble in Paradise Part Three. I'm back. So, yeah, there's some more shit we can listen to. We'll go to Fat Fuck and check it out. Blueberry. What the fuck? The hell is this? What the fuck, Blueberry? Get this. The Muffin oh, Man. God. I'll get it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go to bed. Come the on. The Muffin let's Man. Go I'll get it in the morning. Groundhog All Day right, meets Muffin. Cool. Whatever. Morning comes. No. <laughs> He's gonna get an extract. Comes. No. Day three is now embedded in the carpet. So now you actually got to try to get a shampooer to get it out the carpet. Day three. And we got a shampooer. So I'm like, hey, babe, we're off the shampoo. <laughs> he yeah. said pooer. He said pooer. Did he say shamu or shampooer? Shamu pooer? Shamu pooer. Should, should I just do it? Like, like should I just shampoo this? Because it's going to stain. These are blueberries. Well, you should have picked the motherfucking blueberry fucking cupcake up the very first time you stepped on it, you nasty ass son of a bitch. Oh, now that it's a fucking problem, now that it's all fucking concrete caked into the fucking fibers of the carpet, now you're going to volunteer to fucking vacuum it up? I bet you didn't even do that. Browns boy 23 said we've heard of double chins but double neck. Wow. <laughs> Mother got a pack of hot dogs on the back of his neck. <laughs> so then this motherfucker then stepped on it. <laughs> this motherfucker then stepped on this fucking muffin three times. Twice in a three fucking day period. And rest assured he ain't the only one. Sure, the kids then stepped on it and farted on it, poured more shit on it, made a little fucking blueberry castle out of it. Oh, God. And then this motherfucker has the audacity to, after three days worth of this shit, offer help. Should I just do it? Should have fucking done it in the first place, you stank ass son of a bitch. Nighttime comes. No. Day three is now embedded in the carpet. So now you actually got to try to get a shampooer to get it out the carpet. Pooer. You are a pooer. So I'm like, hey, babe, we're off to shampoo this. And I asked her, I was like, should should I just do it? Like, like should I just shampoo this? Because it's going to stain. These are blueberries. It's it, it's going to stain. You know what I mean? It's been three it's fucking days. Our carpet. And, uh, and now he's worried about staying. You know, she's kind of like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it out the carpet. I'll do it. Because so, with, with that, you got to scrub it first and then do it. I'll do it. It's still on the fucking steps and it's, it's ingrained in our carpet. Slime boss! <laughs> so to this day, it's still ingrained into the carpet. Because I refuse to go up there and clean up my kids' messes. What kind of gross ass shit, bro? The motherfucking muffin man. <clears throat> what the hell was I looking for now? Oh yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go check out this channel, Fat Fuck. P H A T P U C or P H U C. Trouble in Paradise, Part One. All right. Um, Ooh, where's my bay? Gaslighting everybody right now. All right, if y'all want the full, the full rundown, go to here, Fat Fuck. Go check out this channel right here, and it's all you need. It's all from Isaac himself, looking like big pun. <laughs> 
looking like the Buddha, looking like he's where he, looking like he drive a fucking a taxi driver in New York. Look at the skin tags on his face. <laughs> Said part two is the juicy video, huh? Oh, yeah. He's hot. Oh, boy. This is how he acts on the toilet. Shit got wet. I ain't gonna lie. Shit got wet. Are you, that's how he acts on the toilet. I kicked her sister out the house. Her sister walks out the door. Tries to run her mouth. Of course, I ask her. Like what? You got something to say? Speak up. Oh man. So yeah, this is him going after another woman. He's like, say something, speak up, I'll slap your ass down, bitch. We've already seen Isaac has no problem, you know, attacking and harassing women. Thomas D, much love to you, has been spreading all his lies, living a troubled paradise. Can't you tell? Look at this shit. Isaac talked that shit. So when I see DIN's back, time to get the computer. What about this motherfucker right here? Has been calling Isaac's ass out on a daily basis, damn near. Exposing him for so much fucking dirt. And guess what Isaac does? He shuts the fuck up. He ain't said a fucking word since I've been live tonight. But guarantee you he's watching. You know how I can guarantee that? Because I'm his favorite. Everybody laughing about how he can't breathe. Remember, he damn, he damn, uh, he tried to eat a Carolina Reaper and it almost killed him. He had to call 911 to come save him. So anyways, let's get back to, let's get to the, uh, uh, the man of the hour. My little baby brother, Michael, kid behind a camera. I wonder why Kid Behind a Camera isn't selling any merchandise. Here he is with new merch for Grandpa. Merch that I have to say is garbage. Look at this. This shit looks like straight up trash. Come on, let's get you a shot. They butchered my boy. Like, look, the camera is, is offended by it. Look at that. Not very good at all. And I think that my biggest beef with, with Michael selling grandpa merchandise right now uh, that I feel that a lot of you would uh, agree with uh, is the fact that Michael hasn't been giving you guys any content. He has not been giving you guys any grandpa content whatsoever. The most that he does is uh, 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 he advertises his own videos and shit on grandpa's community, in which you all give him hell. Okay. So here we have it right here. He's sharing merchandise. On the Angry Grandpa Show community, guys. And here's the comments. 59 comments, and that is all from six hours ago? It doesn't seem like Grandpa's community is really on fire for the new merch, Michael. I commented on it three hours ago. I said, this is just horrible. We shall discuss it later. Jin Jin says, Dollar General t-shirts. Am I right? Straight up garbage that Michael's trying to peddle off on Grandpa's fans without giving them anything in return. Michael has given you guys jack shit. And it's pathetic. 
Jamie13R right here. Shout out to him or her. <clears throat> that's the that's the top like comment right now on grandpa's own community, bro. People that say Michael isn't milking his dad's death says you still think that. Then Iris Sirens, Iris Sirens kind of commented on that. Didn't try to defend Michael. Says, I mean, damn, that picture looks nothing like AGP either. But let's be real. AGP probably would want Mike to make as much money as possible for himself and the family. I mean, I guess saying that you can't disagree with. Dad would want. You know, but, you know, let's see here. But, you know, he would want, Grandpa would want uh, to make, the family to make as much money as possible. Get that. Hint that. Look at that. Would want to Mike make as much money as possible for himself and the family. When in reality, Michael is trying to box out the family. When Michael's not making as much money as possible. Had Michael not try and fucking destroy mine and Doug's credibility beyond repair. We all could have had a really different grandpa channel going today. A different Michael channel going today. My Charlie Chill channel would be valid. For us to be making as much po much money as possible, not only for Michael, but for us, the family as well, with things that had to been going a whole lot differently. How come Dougie can't make a dollar? How come I can't make a dime? How come Michael's always got to be the only one? Everybody in the family, that's everybody else in the family is living in Michael's shit. Jennifer got her own house? No. Michael owns that shit. Kimberly and Kyle living in their own house? No. Michael's helping them out with their rent. You know they ain't paying shit. Kimberly ain't even got a fucking job. She can't even get on disability. You think that they're, you think Kyle's paying their bills by himself? Working at fucking Wegmans? Working at a fucking mall? Michael has the whole family financially wrapped around his motherfucking finger and guess what it was by design he tried to have me and doug wrapped around his finger financially we said fuck you and michael tried his best to damn destroy us so there's that haha <laughs> Then we got Anthony Hernandez says, I really want his merch so bad, but I can't afford it. Because Michael has overpriced trash that he tries to pedal off on y'all while offering nothing back. Zero. Having all of, having all of Grandpa's fans feeling like they missed out on something that ain't worth a shit anyway is not benefiting Grandpa. It ain't benefiting no one else in the family but Michael. Does he take care of them boys? No, he's done admitted on live stream with Isaac that the boys are not his problem. That he's got his own family to support and take care of now. That he gives Michael or that he gives Jennifer and the boys a roof over their head. That's as much as he can do. Michael the fucking millionaire. Making his mother ride the fucking bus to work. And then wants to get mad saying, why doesn't his other, I'm the only child. Why can't he, why can't any of his other children buy him a car or buy mom a car? Where is this at? Where is it at? Did I delete it? Look at that. Followers and shit were giving Michael hell. Like what's up? Well, how come grandma has to ride the bus? Michael says, maybe she has three other kids. Maybe one of them will get one. Maybe Kim will buy mom a car. Maybe Jennifer will buy mom a car. Maybe Charlie will buy mom a car. 
the other three who don't have shit. While I, the millionaire, I've done my part for my mom. I bought her a house. The same house that mom was afraid of getting kicked out of after Michael Dam threatened to kick her out for calling uh, DSS. Mr. Money Stacks Millionaire doesn't feel like buying his mom a car. He has the ability. Michael can do it. He just doesn't want to. And so what does he do? He, he pawns it off on the rest of his family. The lessers, the ones that ain't got shit. He loves to sit there and laugh about how I live in a fucking tin can trailer. But he has no problem with expecting her me to buy mom a car. He's got Jennifer and Kimberly living in his shit. But he has no problem expecting them to buy mom a vehicle. What kind of shit is that? Miss Cotty Wample says, I'm sure Charlie would pitch in. Hell, if I had it like Michael had, Mom, wouldn't nobody have to ask. I would just do it. Boom. What you need, Mom? That's what I say. You think McJuggernuggets would let his mom ride the bus to work? Didn't McJuggernuggets do a video of him retiring his mother? How much money did he give his mom? She's riding around in a nice vehicle. Got her own place. McJuggernuggets retired her after 30 some odd years of working. I thought that was pretty garbage too. After McJuggernuggets' mother worked her ass off for 30 something years in the damn workforce, her son retires her. You know, I mean, that'd be a, such a slap in the face. Like, fuck you, you little bastard. I earned my retirement. You want to give me some money to help me out with that? That's fine. But I earned my retirement, you little bitch. You know? Nevertheless, you see them riding around nice, living living wonderful. Oh, God. Dawn of the Dead said Bridget had carpet burn on her face. We already know the truth. Anyone who believes Mike's lies is a window. Yeah, that was carpet burn. But I think she got it from... She had her cousin up in there, and they had them some nice revenge sex. Yeah, we just framed Charlie. Ah... <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, Bridget. My turn. X1, uh, XVL1 uh, says, I don't get it. If you go back and watch Michael's old videos, he treats everyone in the family two ways. One day he loves you, the next day you're a dirtbag using him. Been like that for years. And it'll always be like that, you know. <clears throat> but it took you guys a while to catch on, you know. Metal Drummer here says, wow, Michael is so desperate for money that he can't get his viewership up. Pathetic. And I mean, they're so on like that. And, you know, here, what, I, what I'm getting at is the fact that, like I say, Michael does not give a damn thing back to Grandpa's community whatsoever. He takes and he takes and he takes and he manipulates. And he never gives you guys anything back. And he expects so damn much. That it's no wonder that, the, you know, the community is falling apart. That Michael's fuck that Michael's videos are averaging 150k now. Look, it's been almost a month since he broke 200,000 views, and that's not even 10% of his subscribers. Fucking around with the Ouija board again, messing around with the dead. Halloween. Nobody cared about Halloween. Making me a cry on her birthday. And I'm sorry, guys, but that is just an ugly ass face. 
That is like one of the ugliest cry faces ever, dude. She gets a cry face just like her mom. Yipes. I got I got I got some uh I got some flack for sharing this joke the other day. But I swear to God, though, she looked just like the vampire baby. Look at this. The vampire baby escaped and is living in, on Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. Everyone be on high alert. I'm sorry, but it's like, <laughs> it's funny because it's true, dude. Like, like you cannot look at it and say that you don't see the resemblance. If she had those eyes open, it would just make that shit look even more so. <laughs> yeah. Is what it is, bro. Here you have four days ago. 150,000. Today, man, 40,000. Like, look at this shit, bro. It's like, the it is the most embarrassing shit ever. It is the absolute worst shit ever. I think somebody sent me a... Oh, this video. Yeah, I think I saw that one. Adam F in the house. He wants me to he wanted me to share the, the life with Mikey videos. Ah, I think we saw those. Like, yeah, we've seen those before. It's yeah, it's not good, but this is a true story. It, it it's gonna stay. Oh, man. So, yeah, man, like, there's just so much more that we can continue to go over, guys, you know, and that we will continue to go over, bro. Like, like this isn't done. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, you know, a new uh, uh, arrest file or something here within the next few weeks. Um, uh, we're going to find out on November 30th exactly what went down between uh, Isaac and his landlord. Um According to the paperwork, it is the final ruling for this uh, this case. But Isaac has already laughed, talking about, oh, "I can, I can, so I can appeal it to the Supreme Court," which I don't know. Can you really appeal a fucking a squatter thing like you're you're rebating uh, 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 rent? Can you really take that to the Supreme Court? You know, and. Uh, all, and, if, and if so, then, you know, that just further goes to show you that's that's Isaac appealing how many judges orders now. It's already won. It's been kicked up to this judge. You know. All because Isaac is a filthy, rotten, damn, no good, non rent paying, house cleaning, ass washing idiot. Stain on society. That scams his own community. And, uh, you know, just so much more, bro. Jonathan Lori Mayberry. Hey, he says, so is the new girl in the video her cousin? All I can think of when I watched it. I don't think that that is the cousin. You take a look here again. I don't think that that's the cousin. Let me show you the cousin. Hold on. That's Bridget's cousin right there. She looks like she's about 30 in this picture, but she's only like, well, she was underage, I think. And look, Michael, Michael's dirty, rotten ass had uh, the audacity to get, an, a, get a down shirt shot of her. 
Look at that. Michael didn't even have the decency to get a good pick, man. He had to show all his fans down her damn shirt. So, that's the cousin right there. Charming Royalty says she looks 25. Chris says she looks 38. I'm telling you. She's an alcoholic. That's what alcohol does to you. I mean, I don't know. I say that, but bro, like, look how look, look how young do I look? How young do I look, man? I'm about to be 39 years old. In a couple more weeks, guys, I'm going to be 39, December 2nd. Send me birthday gifts now. I'll open them on live stream. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, do I look 39? I probably look like I'm 40, 39, 40. Hot Rod said 48. <laughs> That's fine, you know. But hey, you know, I think I think I look a lot healthier than I did a few years back. You know, when I was drinking and eating, eating a lot. I look at some of these old pictures of myself when I was living with dad, even when I was living with dad. And I was like, damn, I was kind of a porker. Like, look at that picture right here. Uh, look at the old man giving me a kiss. Look at him giving me a kiss. Oh, I love my daddy. And look, look, I look, I look a lot bigger in that picture. What else? Is there any more? No, I guess not. So anyways... What time is it? 8.30. All right, I'm going to go ahead and probably get off of here. 368 people watching. Wow, thank you so very much, man. I've kept y'all's attention for a long time. Two hours here. I really appreciate it, man. And uh, if y'all like that shit, man, give a thumbs up. Are they? Are, have they taken away the, uh, the likes, dislikes yet? <laughs> or is that just for smaller YouTubers? No, the likes versus dislikes are still there. There's Fatty's like dislike bar right now. Take a look. 250 likes, 330 disses. <laughs> so Isaac is waiting, man, for the day that his videos, uh, the dislike bar will be gone. But as we can see, it's not today. You know, so Woo. anyways, I'm gonna get off of here. It's time to go eat. I've had my pizza just sitting over here getting cold. I think I'm gonna throw it back in the oven for a little bit, hang out with my lady, listen to a little downtown Abbey, I guess. Um, and enjoy my night. You know what I'm saying? Give me a like, love, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you want to hear some more. I've got plenty more to share. You know, and as long as them, Isaac and them want to keep running their mouths and they want to go after not only me, but other innocent people, then I have no problem, you know, going live and sharing, talking shit, keeping that damn thumb down. Not really talking shit. I'm telling the truth. You know, and I always have. But, you know, when back in the day when I was drunk, I would also sprinkle it with a lot of bullshit, a lot of shock comedy that uh, drove a lot of you away, you know, and and unfortunately kind of weakened my truth you know so like i say once again you know my greatest battle my greatest victory you know is against myself you know the battle against uh uh addiction and uh uh drug abuse you know and uh it's a battle you know like i said that is reap you know massive award and and every day that every every each and every day that i continue to live sober and uh uh, uh clear-minded you know is a uh you know is, is is another is another is another uh prize dude is another notch in my belt is another step forward you know towards something greater you know and it makes me feel good dude it makes me feel accomplished dude i go to work every day and i you know like i've, I've earned this level three uh promotion you know what i mean this pay increase and uh and I feel accomplished, dude. And it's a great, wonderful feeling. I feel like a man, 
you know? And I know that dad would definitely be proud of me, you know? When I think about dad and what's the best way to honor dad's legacy, you know what I mean? And that is to, you know, lead a life that he would be proud of, you know? And then, you know, in, in that respect, I feel like, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing, you know, that I'm, that uh, I'm keeping dad's, you know, name alive, you know, and, and uh, pristine, I'd say pristine, you know, but hell, we come from, we come from the trailer park. There's nothing pristine about our family. <laughs> you know, I'm proud of that too. I'm proud of the fact that, that we all gathered together in the trash, in the dumps, you know, Michael sits there and uh, wants to laugh at, you know, me living in a trailer, you know. Isaac wants to laugh at me living in a trailer, but at least my house doesn't have isn't full of fucking garbage. There's a difference between, you know, being poor and being white trash. You know what I'm saying? And Isaac has proved tonight that he is both poor and white trash. And like I say, you know, I'm proud of the fact that we all, we all gathered together in the trailer park as one, as the Wolfpack Army, you know what I'm saying, together down here in the fucking dumps. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want it any other way. Michael and Isaac, they tried their best to pretend like they're an upper class. Oh my God. Upper class would not fucking have them. Imagine my imagine that Michael's got the money to be upper class and they still would not accept his ass. You know? I'm proud of where I come from. Michael, Michael can Michael can be uh, ashamed of the trailer all the fuck he wants. You know, I'm proud of it. I'll show you where I live. I haven't done a I haven't done a house vlog in a long time, have I? Y'all remember I used to just walk around the house just vlogging shit. Here's this, here's that. Here's how this is. And I and I and I, and I knew that y'all would like seeing shit in the house, how I live and shit. Haven't done that in a while. Might have to do that again. Might 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 have to dust off an old classic for you guys. Hadn't vlogged in a while. Erica's got a, something planned for us tomorrow. Uh it's nature. You know, it should be fun. You know, I may I'll try I'll try and make it humorous for you guys too. You know, as much as I make it humorous for you here on live stream, I'll try and I'll try and keep you guys entertained, you know, even if you're not so, you know, interested in nature. If you don't want to watch, that's fine. I understand. You know, there's a lot more interest in this right here. You know, this battle, you know, that I'm emblazoned in, you know, with Michael and Isaac and the family. The family that's trying to take you all away from me. I can't have that. Anyways, uh, Corey Phillips, thank you so much, brother. We love you, man. Always having my back, brother. We'll have to get together and uh, and uh, go check out some starfish or something again sometime, man. Tay Styles, have a great night, man. I like you, like you, dude, for sure. I like I like you too. I like you too, Monty. You ever seen Waiting? Yeah. I like you too, Monty. Jonathan and Lori Mayberry, have a great night. William, Gabriel, Lenny, uh, Serial Killer, Jack Vegetables. Chrissy, thank you for modding for me and Ace Man and Kevin. Love you, Kevin. I got to meet back up with you, too. Ashley uh, Lynn says she loves the nature vlogs. Well, good. I'm glad because y'all are going to get one tomorrow or, to, or maybe Sunday. Maybe we'll we'll go out and do it tomorrow, and then I'll upload it for, for Sunday. Yeah, so I appreciate that. You know, I know a lot of you guys do. I, I tend to be a little more harder on myself thinking that we need to do something a little more dangerous or risky and shit, you know, even though I don't want to risk, you know, losing, going to jail and losing my job and shit right now, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, we can always have fun wherever we go and hopefully we'll find somewhere nice and special, somewhere pretty. It's been really damn pretty out here lately. You know, uh, Shelby is in the, like we are in the throes of fall right now. Like the colors are at a max. It might not be so bright up in the mountains, but who knows? We're going to go see tomorrow. We're uh, hoping for a very colorful walk. Fingers crossed, you know. Eileen Tortolero, have a, you a great night. Thank you for uh, following me all these years. And uh, even 
back when I was on Melbourne riding the damn the bus route up to damn Goodwill so I can buy some new clothes. Yeah, you know, and you remembered that shit, man. That, 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 it's touching, man. You know, some of you guys are strangers. I'll never meet you. We'll never, we'll never cross each other's paths. We'll never see, literally see eye to eye. We might see eye to eye on the computer, you know, but we'll never have like a physical, you know, you know, meeting with each other. Yet, guys, you touch me physically. Oh my, wow, that's wrong. <laughs> you guys touch me physically and emotionally on a daily basis, bro. Like, you know, everywhere I go, there you are. If I'm feeling anxious or, or weird, sometimes I feel weird. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'll feel socially awkward or something, you know, or whatever, you know, there you guys are right there. You guys got my back. You know, if I need, if I need to get away from a social moment for a minute by looking into my phone, you know, there you are, you know, showing love and respect and, and, uh, and all that shit. And it means a lot to me, man. Honestly, Don of the Dead 420. Jackie, uh, figure you are, uh, much love to you. Mick, uh, 43, uh, 47. Uh, uh, is that my dude, Mick? Man, we got to meet up if that's my dude, Mick. Stanley Matuzak, I love you, brother. I remember you all the way up in Maine. I remember you too, bro. And the Santa Claus, man. You don't have to send me nothing this year, dude. You know, I unless you absolutely want to, I'd prefer you save your money and shit. But if you wanted to send me another little Santa, I, I have the Santas around here. Here's this one, and I have another one. It's funny. The things that we keep, you know, that damn Santa managed to make it through all the bullshit. I've lost clothes. I've lost movies, money, keepsakes that you guys sent me and shit. And that little Santa made it through all that bullshit. Isn't it weird? It's funny. Zigzag, much love to you, Ryan C. Miss Cotty Wampo. Ah, hopefully you get that part soon. Uh, Erica, I think she called the company about your uh that part for your birthday gift so it should come in soon hopefully you can get that going so you can get frou-frou i was like i don't think she likes getting frou-frou you know and erica's like yeah she said she wants it we're getting it i was like okay as long as she wants it i just wanted to make sure i just want to make sure that she likes what she's getting and she assured me that you that you wanted it so Hopefully you do, and the part's coming in soon. <laughs> William Gabriel gives him Cotty Wample kisses. Brandy Renee, good night to you. Thank you so much. Say, caught your live stream late. Yeah, it's all right. I got on a little early. I wanted to be able to get off by before nine uh, so that I can hang out with my lady and enjoy my night, maybe play a little bit of Jason, play some uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. If you have not played Vanguard yet because of the bad reviews, I highly advise you to get it and play Vanguard. It's Vanguard, it's a very wonderful game. The graphics are amazing. The the storyline is freaking wonderful. I love the mechanics. I love the old guns. I'm not so big on the zombies. I think the Call of Duty has a better zombies mode as far as the whole open world goes and shit, you know. I think uh, Cold War really did a great job on the zombies, but um, I'm loving Vanguard. Get it and play it, man. Dragonfly, have a great night. Can you please tell me happy birthday? Or Dragon Slayer. Happy birthday, Dragon Slayer. Much love to you. Uh, Ryan C., Afro Speed, Rich, Scott Johnson, Jackie Figuera, uh, Figu, Figuora, Figuora, I'm sorry, Figu, Figura, Figuroa, Jackie Figuroa, did I get that right? Like, yeah, tell me I did. <laughs> oh, it's Junior. Oh, we love you, Junior. Mwah, mwah. Why don't you tell me? I'll just call you Junior. Uh, Thomas D says, uh, stay strong, Charlie. Watch out for those um, 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 um. hungry, hungry hippos. One of the best jokes of the night. Maybe the best joke of the night. Hungry, hungry hippo. Put some Reese's Pieces on the table. And Bridget and Michael and Isaac will um, 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 um. <laughs> Like I said, you guys were the fucking show tonight, man. Thank you so much. I love you all. Y'all have a great night. And, uh. I'll be hitting up with y'all again here real soon. And if Isaac and Michael talk more shit tonight and tomorrow, maybe I'll go live tomorrow. I don't mind embarrassing them and making a little bit of money while we do it. Having some fun and uh, all that shit. So thank you all. Love y'all all. Have a great night. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>